Hi, my name is Don Heilman, and today I will be showing you how to prepare your digital images to be made into slides. There are two types of slides you can have your digital images made into. The first is a super slide, which is a square slide. A super slide allows you to photograph your subject either horizontally or vertically with the same slide. The other type of slide is a 35 millimeter slide, which is a rectangular slide. With 35 millimeter slides, you must decide beforehand whether you want to use it as a vertical image or a horizontal image. Although 35 millimeter slides offer some limitations as far as orientation, they are usually much cheaper than super slides to have made. These are the dimensions you will use for a super slide. If you're using pixels, then both the height and width will need to be set at 1800 pixels, and the resolution must be set at 900. If you prefer to use inches, then the height and width will need to be set at 2 inches and the resolution needs to be set at 900. First we will start by using the cropping method. Let's select our cropping tool, then set your width and height to 2 inches and finally set your resolution to 900. Now just drag your crop tool across the image to select the area that you want to be in your slide. You can also drag your crop in. You can also rotate it. When you have it cropped the way that you like it, just simply double click on it. Now that you cropped your image to the proper dimensions, it is ready to be sent out to be made into a super slide. The other method, which is the one I like to use, is to create a blank template that I can drag my images onto. To create a template, first click on New, then set your width and your height to 1800 and your resolution to 900, then click OK. Now you can save this blank template anywhere on your computer for future use. By creating a blank template, it will help ensure your dimensions are always correct. Now that we have our template, all we need to do is simply drag an image onto it, then resize it to where we want. We can move it around. We can also use the transform tool to scale it to the size that we want. By clicking right here, this lock will ensure that your dimensions and your perspective stays the same. It will also maintain your aspect ratio. Once we have it have the image where we want, we simply double click and now our image is ready to be made into a super slide. The process to make a 35 millimeter slide is identical to that of making a super slide. The only difference is the image size. For vertical 35 millimeter slides, the width is 1200 pixels or 1.33 inches and the height is 1800 pixels or 2 inches at a resolution of 900. For horizontal 35 millimeter slides, it is the opposite. The width is 1800 pixels or 2 inches and the height is 1200 pixels or 1.33 inches at a resolution of 900. There are a few things you want to keep in mind when making slides from digital files. The most important thing to pay close attention to is the perspective of the image if you are creating a scenic slide. Ideally, you will want to photograph scenery from the same position as you will be photographing your subject in the studio. For example, if you are making a slide when your subject will primarily be sitting on the floor in your studio, then you will more than likely want to photograph the scene from a sitting position. If your subject will mostly be standing, then photograph the scene from a standing position. If you are unsure how you will be positioning the subject, it is always safe to take the photograph of the scene from a standing position. Another thing to pay close attention to is how much you zoom in on the image. You do not want to be zoomed in too much because when you project the slide onto the background, items such as doors or fences can appear too large in comparison to your subject. It is always better to zoom out when photographing scenery that will be used as slides. Remember, your virtual background's projector has a lens that will allow you to enlarge the image if needed on your projection screen. One of the number one questions I get is where can I have digital files made into slides? There are several labs across the country that can convert your digital files into slides. One lab that I recommend is Gamma Tech. 
You can visit their website by going to www.gammatech.com. Once again, that is www.gammatech.com. If you have any further questions or comments, you can contact Virtual Backgrounds at 1-800-831-0474 or email them at info at virtualbackgrounds.net. You can visit Gamatech's website at www.gamatech.com. And finally, if you have any questions for me, you can email me at info at nvphotography.net and I will do my best to answer any and all of your questions. Thank you for watching our video on how to turn digital files into slides.